So here we are, we're uh, part three of Sermons in the Tent. Uh, we're looking at the Lord's Prayer. And, and Jesus said, um, when you pray, say, Our Father. So it's wonderful, isn't it, that we can call God the Creator, our Father. And Jesus made that possible through his sacrifice, through his shed blood on the cross. Uh, in Hebrews 10, it shows us that we have now access to come into the throne of grace and cry, Abba, Father. And we can approach the throne of grace with confidence. Why? Because Jesus made us righteous. We've been clothed with the righteousness of Christ. And we have his righteousness on us. So that's why we can come with boldness before the throne. Hallelujah. And so he said, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. God's name is hallowed. God's name is holy. God's name is greater than any other name here in the entire universe. Our Father, hallowed be thy name. His name is hallowed. His name is holy. There is no other name like him. In fact, there's a time coming, hallelujah, that the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that he is Lord, hallelujah. Not Muhammad, not Confucius, not Buddha, but Jesus Christ is Lord. And his name is above every other name. The Bible tells us there's no other name under heaven by which men can be saved. Only the name of Jesus Christ can bring salvation to a person. Only his name can save us. And at his name, every knee will bow. All the Muslims will bow their knee. All Buddhists will bow their knee. At the name of Jesus, every knee bow and every tongue will confess he is Lord. What a great day that will be, isn't it? When we see that happening, hallelujah. That's why there's no other name under heaven by which men can be saved. Only through Jesus Christ can we obtain salvation. No other way, only one way. Jesus said no one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. And no one comes to the Father. And he said, Father, hallowed be thy name. His name is holy. And the Bible tells us that without holiness, no one will see God. But through Jesus Christ, his sacrifice, we have been made holy. Those who have put their faith in him, We've been made holy. All our past sins have been wiped away, washed away. And we've been made a new creation. Only God can do that. Isn't it wonder, wonderful that? And he said, Father, hallowed be thy name. And Jesus taught them to say, Father, let your kingdom come. Here on earth, as it is in heaven. And that's why he wants us to be praying, his church that we should be praying that God's kingdom will come on earth. God's will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. That's what we should be praying, that his kingdom will come. And guess what? It's coming. Hallelujah. His kingdom comes in every believer at the moment of birth of salvation. We receive the kingdom of God. And God's kingdom comes flooding into our whole being. We receive the kingdom of God when we receive Jesus Christ. Why? Because he is the kingdom of God. But there's a time coming when the earth shall be filled with the glory of the knowledge of the, of the Lord God Almighty. The earth shall be filled and his kingdom will flood the entire earth. And that will only happen when Jesus Christ comes back as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. When he places his feet on the Mount of Olives, his kingdom will flood the entire earth and God's kingdom will be on the earth for a thousand years. Hallelujah. And we will be ruling and reigning with him for a thousand years. Isn't that wonderful to know? And then it says that God creates a new heaven and a new earth. Hallelujah.
Isn't God one? Aren't you glad you're saved watching this? Aren't you glad that you are saved? Hallelujah. It's wonderful. And so he said, Father, let your kingdom come. Father, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus was asking his disciples to be praying that God's perfect will will be done here on earth just as it is in heaven. So whatever's going on in heaven up there, Jesus said, let it be done here on earth. Hallelujah. We should be praying and believing for that, that his will will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. And so we, here we have, we're looking at the Lord's Prayer. And, um, and he said, Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And then Jesus was teaching his disciples, you know, we should be asking God for our daily bread. How many know you can't beat fresh bread? Hallelujah. There's nothing like fresh bread, isn't there? How many know you have a bread, a loaf of bread, a month old? Goodness me, that's not so good, is it? Hard as a rock. Hallelujah. Break every teeth in your mouth. Hallelujah. <laughs> that's why he said, give us this day our daily bread. How many know God knows best for us? And we, we could, should be depending on God.